On June 21st, 1871, the Paola Town Company deeded the land that had been used for recreation for the Indians and incoming settlers to Paola City with the provision that it should only be used as public grounds. This only allowed the city of Paola to build one single building in the center of the square known as the gazebo. In 1886, Paola becomes illuminated by a 310-foot gas well, which is located in about the center of the gas field of the west. Paola is the only town west of the Mississippi River, which is lighted by natural gas. Paola, furthermore, is the only town west of the Mississippi in which 200 stoves and private family homes are heated with natural gas. Paola is also the only town west of the Mississippi in which the largest power engines use natural gas for fuel. My name is Nellie Grant, but it was Nellie McCoy when I moved to Paola in 1940. With my parents, I was seven years old. Uh, we lived on, on uh, West Peoria, and then moved a couple times until my parents bought their house out where they have lived since 1946. Well, we still lived in Lewisburg, my first memory of the square. My dad and my mom always came to Paola on Saturday night to buy groceries and to talk to all the people. And uh, the kids would always go to the movie, and then after the movie, we would all come to the park and play in the park. It wasn't a beautiful place like it is now, though. It was kind of like a, oh, it had a fence around it where they, uh, they could take them down. I don't remember the fence being up all the time, but I do know that they had lots of 4-H uh, uh, exhibits and things around the square when we had the fair, and the fair was always held here in the park square. It was not held at Wallace Park before that, and it had a lot of community activity here at that time. Then when we moved to Paola, uh, it was like in 40 or 41, and I remember going by it every day when we went to school because we went to school at the North School and walked every day. And uh, my brother wouldn't let me ride the, mo the bicycle because he took it. <laughs> but like I said, there, you could, there was benches and things you could sit here, but it wasn't near the, the park that it is today. And they planted a lot of trees back then. They, they had the soldiers monument over there. I remember that it was there when I was here. The town, the square of town has mostly all changed. There used to be a lot of grocery stores and uh, pool halls and drug, uh, drug stores and a lot of five and dime stores, which they don't have now, and which is a, quite a shame because we always like those. They didn't have any play equipment or anything, but this was a congregational place where like on Saturday nights, the people would all come to town and they would sit around the square and they would bring their own chairs or sit on the grass and have picnics and stuff in the park. It was not, uh, like I said, it's not as, it wasn't near as pretty as it is today, but it, it has always been open to the public. Uh, there used to be a lot of, I, I don't remember it, but my dad said there was horse races and everything here in the park as well when he was a, when he was younger. Not a kid, because, but he was younger. He came to fail a lot, I think. <laughs> Cruising the square was popular before I was even here. I mean, it, that, was, that was what the kids did on Friday and Saturday night. And then uh, they go to the Bowery for uh, food. Uh, that was uh, Bill Bowers had a had a drive-in thing when I was in high school. Now I think that was that was uh, 
I think he must have built that probably when I was a freshman or something because I remember working there when I was younger. I worked at the Mallory, so. And, uh, but then the teen, the, we had Teen Town up here all during my high school years, and we had the Palms, which was a hangout for all the high school kids. The mentality of the square hasn't changed much since my grandmother was young. It still serves as a congregation point, a place where children can play, and a really nice and relaxing location for citizens of Paola to just go and be themselves, get away from everything, and relax. Um, things that are on the square are the gazebo, and there are some. there's a little bit of play equipment for the children, as well as a beautiful fountain that is lights up and has music that goes along with it.